Hi, welcome to the video how to test repositories in Spring Boot with me, Namami from CodeJava.net. Through this video, you will learn how to write unit tests for Spring Data JPA repositories in a Spring Boot project and how to run tests on in memory database and real database and how to use test properties instead of application properties and how to commit a transaction or disable or back in test I will guide you how to write unit test for testing repositories in a Spring Boot project using the following technologies Spring Data JPI for the data access layer the unit 5 or the unit Jupyter as the testing framework and the search J as the library for fluent uh, assertion APIs, MSQL database, and S2 database for testing in memory database. And in this video, I'm using the following software programs Java Development Kit JDK, Spring 2 Suite IDE, SDS, MSQL database server, and Workbench. And you can use the latest versions of these software programs. As you can see, I have an existing Java Spring Boot project here in Spring 2 Squid IDE, the Submit Backend project. And let me open the Maven project file from XML here to uh, test uh, repositories with uh, Spring Data JPI. You need to use the flowing dependencies. Let me show you. So in this project, you can see I'm using a Spring Boot Starter Web for developing a Spring Boot web applications. Yeah, we need to use a Spring Boot Starter Data JPI to use uh, Spring Data JPI in a Spring Boot project and for testing we need to use the uh, Spring Boot Starter Test uh, and Spring Boot we use uh, the unit 5 or the unit Jupyter and we need to exclude uh, the unit uh, vintage library which is for testing uh, with uh, the unit 4 And for database, uh, we use MySQL, so we need to use the, the dependency for MySQL, ZBC driver, MySQL connector Java here. And for testing with in memory database, we need to use uh, S2 database, so we need to declare this and dependency to use uh, S2 database. That's it. The key dependencies you need to use for testing uh, repositories in a Spring Boot application Spring Data JPI, Spring uh, uh, Boot Starter Test, MySQL Connector Java and S2 database Now let's create two new tables in the database As you can see we are going to create uh, two tables countries and states and you can see the entity the relationship between countries and table is one to many the country can uh, contain one or more states and the state uh, belongs to only one uh, country so this is a SQL workbench program and uh, this is a database for the project SubmitDB and now uh, create a new table The new table name is uh, countries. First column is uh, primary key column ID. So check PK, not no, and AI for auto increment the values of this primary key columns. And name, name of the country, not no. That's it, very simple. Apply. Review the SQL script applied. Finished. That's a country tables. And you can see it appears in the, on the left here countries with two columns ID and name. 
and the next table is the state table. Create table. Table name is states. And first column is a primary ID key column. Name of the state. Not no. And in this table, we have a foreign key for the Kachi table. So the column name is Kachi underscore ID. Data type is integer int not no. Click apply to create the table stats and uh, go to the foreign key section here to create a foreign key. Name is country underscore MK. Reference table is the countries. Cheese here. Column uh, from this table states country underscore ID and reference column means ID in the country table. That's it. And you can review the script to add the font key for the states table here. Click apply. Apply. And that's it. We have uh, two tables, uh, two new tables, country and uh, states. Next, we need to create two new uh, entity classes in the project to map with the two new tables in the database. So, in the source Java folder, create a new class. And the package name is com.shopping.country. The class name is country. Finish. And in this entity class, we use the ZPA annotations to uh, map this uh, Java class with the country's table in the database. So we use an entity annotation and table annotation to specify the table name is countries. And in this entity class, we declare uh, two. Uh, fuse integer which is the ID of the country and string name, name of the country ID is uh, the fuse that maps to the primary column in the database so we use the annotation ID and uh, the written value with the strategy is uh, identity so the values of these uh, columns in the database will be automatically incremented. And that's it. And we generate data and set uh, methods uh, for this entity class. So generate data and set us. Select all. Generate. You see. And we also need to generate the constructors for this class. Generate constructor using fields. We need to have a constructor that takes the names as an argument to create a new country. And we also need to have a no argument constructor. Generate constructor from superclass. Generate. Okay. That's it for the first entity class that maps to the uh, countries uh, tables in the database. Countries here with uh, columns, ID, ID and name here. And next, we uh, need to create the second entity class, which is state. Entity table. Table name is stats. And in this uh, 
second entity uh, class we also need to have this few ID and name so we can copy and paste also copy and paste the uh, vector and set and method because they are the same ID and name and uh, uh, because uh, the entity relationship uh, between uh, country and state is uh, one too many as you can see in this uh, diagram so with the country entity class we need to have a collection of states here because a country can contain one or more states So we declare a collection a set of state here, states, and for this you know, field, we need to use the uh, one too many annotation, indicating that a country can contain uh, one or more, one too many uh, states, and uh, mapped by the country field in the state entity. So in the state entity, we need to declare a reference to the country, private country, country here. And in this, we need to use uh, many to one annotation, indicating that uh, one or more or many state belongs to this country. And specify the joint column. The joint column is uh, the front key in the stats table. Catch you underscore ID. That's it. And generate the getter and set a method for the states in this class. States generate okay. Also generate getter and setter for country in this state class. Country generate okay. And uh, we need to uh, generate write the contractors for the state entity class. Generate the contractor using fields. We need to create a new state with the name and country. That's it. And also, we need to have a no argument contractor so it can be used in other case. That's it. Uh, the entity class is uh, country and state that uh, map with the two uh, tables, countries and states in the database, as you can see here. And next to use uh, Spring Data API, we need to create interfaces for uh, repositories for the country and state. So create a new interface here. The name of the interface is the country repository. And its super interface is the current repository interface provided from the Spring Data API, as you can see here. And okay, finished. And we need to change the uh, entity type to country here. And the type of the ID is integer. Integer is the uh, type of the primary in the column in the, in the entity class integer here. And do the same for state uh, repository. 
interface state repository the super interface is crud uh, repository type is um, state and type type of ID is integer and that is the two uh, interfaces for repositories to use the Spinter API. Before writing unit test, uh, I want to show you this picture to help you understand the key principles in uh, writing unit tests uh, for testing uh, repositories in Spring Boot. So far, we have the entity class, country, and uh, repository interface, country repository, and we want to write unit test to test this uh, repository. So in the Spring Data JPI, we create a new test class with the uh, annotation uh, data JPI test here for the test class and note that in this test class we have a reference to the repository we want to test as you can see here the country repository and we write test methods to test uh, the operation in the uh, repository and know that we also can have a uh, reference to uh, entity manager test entity manager so we can perform uh, operation that doesn't involve in with the country to test uh, with other entities not the country entities so similarly uh, we uh, have the test class for unit test for state repository here as you can see we also need to use data jpa test have reference to the state uh, repository and have a reference to entity manager test entity manager so in this test class we just want to test the operation uh, uh, related to state but the state in, uh, depends on the country so we uh, can use the test entity manager to um, uh, perform some operation with the country here which uh, doesn't relate to state that's the key principle in uh, testing uh, repositories in Spring Boot Now, let's write code for the country repository test. So in the test uh, package in the project, I create a new test class. Uh, package is com.shopping.country and the name of the test class is country repository test that's it and uh, to test you know, repositories in the Spring Data JPI we need to use the uh, Data JPI test annotation here as you can see as per the document it uh, says that this annotation we disable full auto configuration and apply only configuration or relevant to JPA test. And we need to have a reference to the uh, country repository here, country repository, repository. And we have this uh, field auto wire by Spring Boot auto wire. That's it. And the first time method is to test create a country. Test create country. And create a new country object. Country equal new country. With the name. Name is 
in Vietnam. For example, and we call the method uh, from the repository save yeah save country. That's it. Very simple. And we want to assert that uh, the country is actually created. So we assign the return of this the step method to the country object here. And we assert uh, not no. Not no for the country object. And also assert choose that the value of the ID for this country is greater than zero meaning that the country object uh, was actually persisted in the database that's it very simple test method you now let's try to run this test method uh, open the live view online here yeah. You can see the test create country method here. So right click, run as Z. Mm -hmm. We don't see option to, uh, sorry, we need to annotate this test method with the test annotation from the unit uh, API. So when we right click on the method in the live view, we can run as the unit test here. And we got an error. Don't worry, let me explain to you. And you can see the error is table countries not found. Oh, but we actually created the table countries in the database. As you can see here, table country here. It's because uh, by default, uh, Spring Boot, we uh, use in memory database instead of real database. If you look at the log, details in the console view here you can see you can see string put the uh, replace the data source being with embedded version starting embedded database uh, zbc s2 here so uh, uh, that means the string put uh, is uh, using uh, in memory database s2 uh, for testing uh, repositories by default as you can see, it replacing data source with uh, embedded version and use uh, in memory database. And to fix uh, this error, this problem, uh, we need to update the Spring Boot application properties file. So I open the application properties file here. Here you can see the first uh, property spring.jpa.hibnet.ddl dash auto equal none. Uh, this uh, property tells Hibnet uh, not to uh, update the database uh, when uh, running the application. So now I need to change the value to create and drop. So Hibnet, we create the database tables and uh, drop the database tables after running the test save and now let's uh, run the test method again run you see the test has been passed successfully with the green bar indicator here uh, let's see the log messages in the console output. You can see it uh, prints various SQL statements, uh, drop the table if exists, and create the table. You can see create table countries here and table states here. And it will also print the SQL insert uh, statements. Uh, let me see.
you see there's a SQL insert statement uh, printed here insert into country's ID name and uh, values that means the test has uh, inserted a row to the database but because we are using in-memory database so afterward the transaction is rolled back here as you can see by default it will roll back the transaction next I will write code for the state uh, repository test class so you can uh, understand the use of the test entity manager so create a new test class here new class the name of the class is state repository test and also use uh, data jpi test and Spring Boot will disable full auto configuration and it will load only the configuration for testing the repositories and we need to have a reference to the state repository here yeah. repository auto wise is fewer And the test method to test create uh, state test create state and because uh, a state depends on a country belongs to a country, so we need to create the, the country first. So that's why we need to have a reference to the test entity manager provided by JPA a test test entity manager here entity manager view the documentation and you can see this here provides a subset of entity manager that are useful for test And we will also need to authorize this field to wire entity measure. And uh, before creating a state, we need to create a country. And suppose as a country, we don't need to test, so we need to use the entity manager. Entity manager. Proceed. A new country object. Country Vietnam and this return uh, posited instant of country country and then we use a state a repository to uh, save a new uh, state object repository save new state and we create a new state object with name and country state is uh, Hanoi and country is, is a country object and return from the entity manager proceed method here and this same method return a state object and this time we use uh, assert j library to have more fluent uh, Assertion API. As you can see in the country repository test, we use uh, a certain method from the unit, uh, a certain not no, a certain true, and now we use a certain J. A certain state is not no. And you can see uh, the statement. Uh, is more readable and uh, uh, looks more fluent uh, than uh, the unit uh, assertion. And you can see we use uh, assert that from the assert library here. 
the search library is automatically included by Spring Boot uh, starter test. And we also need to assert that uh, the ID of the state is greater than zero. So that state get ID is greater than zero, and you can see uh, the statement uh, is more readable and the API is more fluent. Yeah? So I recommend you to use assert J assertion method to assert uh, the test method, so it is more readable than this one. You see. Asset not no asset two. That's it. So we have used the entity manager to create a new country object, and we use that country to create a state object. Okay, now let's run this test method. Test create state here. Now let's do the unit test. You can see the test has been uh, passed successfully here. And let's look at the console view, and you can see the Spring Boot also replaced the data source with in memory database. As we can see here, starting embedded database is 2 And uh, on startup, it we create the tables in the database. And you can see it uh, execute two statement one to insert to, to the country and a second to insert uh, into the state table. And after that, it will buy the transaction and shut down the in memory database. And our test has been passed. Next. I'm going to show you how to uh, run test uh, on a real database, which we uh, specify in the application properties right here. It's because in the database, a real database, we already have the tables, countries, and states here. So in the properties file, we need to set this property uh, hybrid DDR auto equal none. So Hamlet would drop and create a table when the test uh, is running. And uh, in the test class, we need to use this annotation. Auto configure test database. And replace equal none. Then Spring Boot, we use the uh, Real database specified in the application properties file here, which is my SQL. That's it. Now let's run this test method again. Country repository test. And in the database, in the country tables, we have no rows in the country table. Now let's run this test. Create country method known as the unit test. You can see the test, test has been passed successfully. And let's look at the console view and you can see. And we don't see the log indicating that it is replacing the database with in memory database. So, as you can see here, MySQL is used, and uh, you can see it pins the SQL statement to insert into the uh, country's table here. But uh, after that, it uh, rolls back the transaction. You see, that means uh, we don't see any rows in the real database because uh, a row was inserted and then was removed from the database as the transaction is rolled back. 
So to um, keep the data persisted into the database, we need to um, specify the rollback equal false in the test method or rollback annotation false here. Now run this uh, test method again. And this time it will uh, proceed uh, the data into the real database. Success. And let's look at the console view. Uh, SQL insert statement here. And now this time you can see the statement commit the transaction for test here. It is not rollback anymore, but it is committed transaction for test. That means the data has been permanently persisted into the database. Let's refresh and you can see we have one row inserted into this country table. ID2 name Vietnam. ID1 was for the previous test which doesn't commit, didn't, didn't commit the transaction. You see. Similarly, uh, let's update the second test class, uh, state uh, repository test to uh, proceed, uh, create a new state into the database. So we use this annotation to auto configure that test database and replace equal none. That's it. And we write a second test method. Yes. Yes. Create a state a real database. Test insert set. To real database, and this time we need to use the entity manager to get the uh, country object by ID. So we we also understand the role of the entity manager, test entity manager here in the uh, test uh, repository class. So here we get entity manager. Five class is country dot class, and value for the primary key is uh, country ID integer country ID equal two, which is ID two of this row in the uh, database ID two country ID, and this will return the country object country country. Then we can copy this code from the previous method to proceed a new state object with the country from database. Yeah, that's it. And now let's run test insert state into real database. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add the rollback force annotation. So it we uh, execute a statement and rollback. As you can see here, so select to select country and insert to insert, insert to the state and it uh, rollback the transaction. As you can see here, rollback. So I need to apply the rollback annotation here to keep the data persisted in the database the back force and run the test method again and this time we also see the ID of the newly created state will be 2 because the first one was created and removed from the database you see the test has been passed successfully you can see in the log it says that transaction is committed here and let's check the database country table we have the same and now let's select rows from the stats table 
and you can see we have the new state row here id2 name hanoi and country id2 refers to this country id2 vietnam so far you have seen that uh, in order to run the repository test with in memory database i need to have to modify this property in the application properties file to create and uh, drop and then if i uh, want to run the main application i have to set it back to none so this uh, modification updating uh, is uh, annoying it is time consuming to switch between uh, test and run in production so we can uh, uh, specify a separate uh, properties file for running a uh, test so we can copy the application properties copy and paste to the test directory here paste and this uh, property I change the name to uh, test dot properties for testing that's it and for testing I just want to specify this uh, main information for database and I want to specify create and drop because when testing I want to run in memory database and for the production I want to use a value none that's it and in the test class uh, we need to use another uh, annotation for example in the country uh, repository test here I don't uh, use the real database anymore I want to use in-memory database and a separate test property so I uh, need to specify this annotation test property source and location we specify the uh, properties in the class part class part colon test dot properties and it won't conflict uh, with the application uh, properties here it we read the configuration from the test properties file here instead of the main Spring Boot configuration file. And we don't need to roll back because we run in, mem in memory database. Now let's run this test create country method again with the separate test uh, property source and with in memory database. You can see the test has been passed successfully, and this time it uh, is using the in memory database. As you can see in the logging message here, starting a method database, and replacing data source. That's it. How to use uh, separate properties file for testing purpose instead of the main Spring Boot application properties. For more uh, configuration for the data API test, uh, you can see you can see this annotation provides uh, several arguments parameters here. Exclude auto include future properties. So as square or use default or filters. You can read the documentation of these parameters. Uh, this time I will just don't want to show SQL to the console, so I specify so SQL equal false. Now let's run this test method again. Previously, you can see the several SQL statements printed uh, in the console view here. Now let's uh, run this time with so SQL equal false. Run, and uh, we will see no SQL. 
10 minutes to paint it to the cell. You can see the test has been passed successfully. And you can see in the console view we don't see any SQL statements. Very good, right? So that's how to customize the test. You can use the reason documentation to understand how to use these parameters. Exclude, include properties. That's it. Awesome. So far you have learned how to write unit tests for Spring Data JPA repositories in a Spring Boot project. How to run a test with in memory database and real database, how to use uh, separate test properties instead of application properties, how to commit uh, transactions, and uh, key principle in uh, testing repositories in Spring Boot is that in the test class, we have the test entity manager to test the operations that doesn't uh, relate uh, to the repository being tested here. Yeah. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to help grow this channel. Like, comment and share this video. Thank you for watching.